This is Chip. Chip is a garden snail. But not just any garden snail. He is a young, strapping specimen, with a thirst for life and all the enthusiasm of youth. A close call with a lawnmower has left its mark, a distinctive chip on his shell, and the knowledge that life is precious and he should live it to the full. Today, Chip has decided to succumb to his deepest primal desires. Today, he is on a quest to lose his virginity. Having no ears whatsoever, he is deaf to the dangers that lie ahead. If he's going to survive, he needs to keep his eyes peeled and his nose clean. Or, in Chip's case, tentacles. His upper tentacles act as his eyes, and his lower tentacles as his nose. Hopefully, they will be enough to ensure Chip's survival. Chip must venture out into the garden if he is to have any hope of finding true love. Waves of muscular contractions propel him onwards, striving out into the garden to begin his quest. After travelling the entire length of the garden, Chip reaches the patio. Some dandelion leaves are causing quite a stir amongst the local snails. Dandelions are Chip's favourite, but something else catches his eye tentacle. It's curly. And he is a beautiful specimen, a glistening Adonis of the snail world. This is the one. The one Chip has been searching for. Chip is eager, so it's straight in with foreplay. But Curly continues with his lunch, oblivious. Chip tries a little sensual nibbling. In a final bid for attention, Chip presents his bloated genitalia. Chip and Curly are both hermaphrodites, meaning that this little bulge contains both male and female reproductive organs. But Curly's not in the mood. After all, they've only just met, and he has a headache. Eventually, Chip takes the hint, leaving Curly to his meal. The course of true love never did run smooth. Being rejected may have damaged his pride, but it did nothing to diminish his libido. Chip tries it on with the other snails on the patio. But no one likes being second choice. Eventually, Chip is approached by Dale, the snail with a bad reputation and a one-track mind. This is a snail with experience. Courtship is surprisingly human, 
hours of dancing, kissing and sensual nibbling. The excitement gets too much for Chip. He peaks too early. But hey, lining up both male and female reproductive organs can be a tricky business. Dale decides the time is right for a little snail S&M. This could be dangerous. Dale fires his love dart, a five millimeter calcium dart laced with mucus. If fired correctly, the mucus could double the chances of survival for Dale's sperm. If fired incorrectly, the dart could pierce Chip's vital organs and could be fatal. If Chip was into this to start with, he certainly isn't now. Dale gives up, leaving unsatisfied and frustrated. Chip is exhausted and in pain. He started his journey a naive young snail, on the lookout for love. But after lying in the same position for hours, he starts to see the garden in a different light. A breeding ground for seduction. He knows things now. He is wiser to the whims of romance. And this experience with Dale has provided him with the ability to start forming his own love darts. There are plenty more snails up the garden path, and next time it'll be his turn to play Cupid. <laughs>